Very good morning, everyone. I'm Anusha Case. I, Anusha Case, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, would like to welcome all of you to this international webinar on sleep inducing with brain state analysis. I take this opportunity to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. V. Sadashive Gauda. I also welcome Dr. Ravi Kumar V, Professor and Head, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I welcome Wing Faculty Coordinators, Dr. Gururaj Achil and Professor Janna V. V. I extend a warm welcome to our session speaker, Dr. Hongling, and to all the participants. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome, introduce today's session speaker, Dr. Honglin. Dr. Honglin holds a PhD in computer science. His graduate work includes theoretical and empirical studies of parallel programming models and implementations. Dr. Honglin has worked on large-scale computational biology at Purdue University, active networks at National Research Council, Canada, and network security at Nokia INC. Dr. Lin joined University of Houston, downtown USA at 2001, and is currently working as a professor in computer science. He has worked on parallel computing, multi-agent system, and effective computing since he joined UHD. He established a grid computing lab at UHD through the NSF MRI grant. He has been a Scholars Academy mentor, a REU faculty mentor, and a Kashi faculty mentor. He's a senior member of ACM. Dr. Honglin is currently working on brain state analysis, in particular, the comparison of meditative states on other brain states. Mental discipline and meditative practice can change the working of a brain and allow people to achieve different levels of awareness. The objective is to create a system that can interact with users on real-time basis and give users feedback on users' current state and the goal of users' mind-body exercises. We are very fortunate to have you as a session speaker, sir. Now I request Dr. Honglin to take over the session. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so thank you so much for giving, uh, giving me this opportunity to talk to, uh, with you about uh, you know, my research, okay. Um, yeah, so um, as uh, you know, we have uh, talked about the, you know, and, uh, you know uh, the, uh, you know, future collaboration, okay, uh, on the, you know, the research area that we uh, that share that we share our in the research interest. Okay, so yeah, so uh, it is very exciting uh, opportunity for me, right, to you know share my research interest with you and uh, the talk about you know the research uh, you know findings and and and, uh, and uh, any uh, you know visions about the future endeavor in our research. Okay, yeah, so today I'm going to. Um, uh, talk about uh, the sleep inducing with brain state analysis. Okay, so um, um, so uh, basically, uh, you know, this topic is related to the uh, you know brain waves analysis and uh, and uh, and how to use okay uh, the uh, the brain state modeling okay in uh, uh, you know an application okay uh, okay to uh, you know uh, in. Uh, how to say help the people with the sleep disorders to to get into sleep? Okay, yeah. So um, so yeah. So yeah. That's the, the the topic that I'm going to present today. Okay, and um, yeah, I, 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 I'm more than willing to to uh, discuss with you. Okay, on the topics on the materials that that I'm going to present. Okay, um, so firstly, okay, uh, you know what's the um, how to say. Uh, why? What's the background? Okay, for this kind of research. Okay, so firstly, uh, um, we are talking about uh, the like the well-being of a person. Okay, because this is the uh, like a healthcare right issue. Okay, so um, well, the well-being of a person. Okay, uh, you know, has uh, two aspects. Okay, uh, okay, one aspect is the physical body well-being. The other one is the mind well-being. Right? Okay, so the physical body well-being is like a. Determined determined by the 
like in the physical, uh, like uh, uh, you know, the, the physical physical body, and and uh, whether you know, um, you know, um, there is, is any ailments, okay, you know, uh, in the body or not. Okay. Now, on the other hand, the mental well-being it depends on the, like a psychology or emotional or mental, uh, you know, activities, right? Okay, of the person. Okay. But this, uh, you know, two parts are actually uh, correlated to each other, right? Yeah, so the, the mind okay, the activity can affect the physical body and the, and the vice versa. Okay, now in nowadays, okay, because we have, uh, you know, the uh, like, uh, Internet of Things, okay, uh, you know, sensing technologies, okay, so we can, um, you know, collect, okay, uh, physiological data, right, from the physical body, okay, and uh, then we can analyze this data and then we can. Uh, see whether we can uh, use the technology uh, to help people to to uh, develop, okay, you know, uh, uh, you know, develop like uh, the you know the methods, like okay, to uh, to help people to get to 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 to, to get, get to uh, sorry, okay, to get people to um, uh, to ensure, okay, to be in a uh, you know uh, you know a health uh, state, right? Okay, all right. So, um, so, so this okay, you know lies with uh, like opportunities and the challenges together. All right. Okay. So the challenges, the challenges, okay, and opportunities is what is like uh, you know this key give us the uh, you know opportunity right to develop okay, some kind of integrated system okay, such that okay, the system can help okay, to ensure the high quality uh, you know personal healthcare system right and also. Okay, such system can you know satisfy different uh, different uh, how to say different demands right, okay, for different uh, applications right. Okay, for example, okay, we may be able to uh, to address the real time needs right from the person. Okay, so we can give the real time the personal care. All right. Okay, so so this give us a vast uh, in the scope of you know application areas. Okay, the challenges include the uh, you know um, how to say um, uh, in, in the process for data connection and uh, in like the data fusion, okay, the data processing and the modeling, okay, they are a lot of challenges, okay, because um, different different technologies may not be easily, uh, uh, how to say, uh, integrated together, all right, okay, so so sometimes we we have to like. Um, uh, Examining the protocols used by different technologies. Okay, so sometimes okay, we uh, yeah we do need to solve a lot of technical issues. Okay, when we try to fusion the data or uh, process the data. Okay, and uh, also you know um, the, you know uh, when we uh, try to model the data. Right. Okay. So so there will be a lot of obstacles. Okay, that we we have to uh, you know we have to overcome. Okay. All right. So now okay. Um, I'm going to focus, you know, on the SNP uh, problem, right, in uh, today's uh, talk. Okay, yeah. So now SNP, a uh, SNP, right, is a very important uh, issue, right, in very important issue. Okay, yeah. Okay, because um, you know, uh, SNP disorder is a very widespread issue, right, in the, in the nowadays, right, in in a, in a, in a, in a society society nowadays. Okay. So there are some statistics about the problem. Okay, like for example, in, in United States, okay, yeah, there are about like 40 million people that suffer right, from the uh, uh, like a uh, sleep disorder. Right? Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, and also there are additional uh, 20 million people okay, experience occasional sleep problem. Okay. So um, and uh, it is said that you know over uh, like fifty percent of the people, okay, you know, have uh, you know more or less, uh, you know, uh, sleep problem, right? Okay, so sleep disorder becomes a public healthcare issue. Okay, yeah, okay, and uh, now the, uh, the 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 very challenging part of this problem is the uh, you know the cause right for the sleep disorders. Okay, they are. You know more than seventy different sleep disorders. Uh, different, they 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 have different causes. All right. Okay. 
And uh, so, for example, okay, sleep disorders uh, may include uh, like the lack of sleep, right? Uh, we also, which is also called insomnia, okay? And uh, uh, the dis uh, all disturbed, right? Disturbed sleep, right? Like, uh, like uh, obstructive sleep uh, apnea, right? Okay, bruxism, okay, uh, clenching or ground grinding teeth, you know, during the sleep. Yeah, so this, so this kind of, yes, yeah, these are also pro is the sleep okay yeah and uh, the other you know type is the excessive sleep right yeah which is also called a narcolepsy right narcolepsy okay yeah all right so these are all uh, sleep disorders and then they you know different sleep disorders you know, are totally different and then they have different causes all right okay and then you know they, they are professional uh healthcare uh you know personnel okay who try to use the uh, you know, medical uh, means uh, to 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 solve right, the sleep disorder problem. Okay, yeah, and uh, uh, they mainly uh, rely on the medication, right? Yeah, and they use the drug, you know, you know, medication. Okay, and to, to help people, right, to overcome the overcome the, the sleep disorder problem. Okay, well, um, in uh, you know, in our uh, in, yeah, in, in our research, what we want to do is basically okay, using a long medication methods, right, to, to try to address the sleep disorder problem. Okay, yeah. All right, so um, in particular, okay, we are going to uh, use um, uh, like an EEG, right, okay, electroencephalography. Uh, okay, so we use, we try to use the EEG, okay, Data, okay, and uh, analyze the EEG data, okay, and then try to um, detect, right, okay, the sleep disorder problem, okay, uh, using the by analyzing the EEG data, okay, and then okay, we uh, we 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 try to uh, integrate the you know the, the brain state uh, you know uh, detection, okay, with some uh, sleep inducing uh, techniques, okay, to de develop an integrated system that can can combine the detection and the like a curing, like a uh, sleep inducing, like a together, right, in, in one system. Okay, yeah. All right, so um, this is a, a you know, common brain computer inter interface system. Okay, um, so um, basically, uh, uh, in this system, okay, the, the brain waves data right, or EG data right, are read, right? Okay. And they are pre-processed, okay, okay, you know, uh, using various, uh, you know, methods. For example, uh, denoise, okay, yeah, and uh, like uh, uh, filtering, right, okay, and uh, you know, um, normalization, this kind of thing, okay, yeah. So, uh, so, so, yeah, data are pre-processed, okay, and then, okay, um, normally, okay, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, the process involves like a feature extraction, okay. Okay, because um, in most cases, okay, uh, the the brain state modeling okay, relies on the feature, feature right, relies on the feature, uh, the extracted features, right, okay, to ensure uh, you know uh, uh, to establish a, a good model, okay, yeah. Well, they are also you know that different technologies okay, okay, uh, be based on different modeling okay methods, okay, yes, okay. They are like deep deep learning network, okay. Uh, some of them may use the uh, raw data, raw EEG data, right, to do the, uh, you know, to do the classification directly. Okay, yeah, because it, uh, such kind of system no, normally rely relies on uh, the cap capability of the neural network, right, to extract the features automatically. All right, so such kind of a, you know analysis is called end to end, right, end to end, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, analysis. All right, okay, but. Uh, um, you know, roughly speaking, uh, forty percent of the EEG, uh, you know, analysis, okay, uh, uses the raw data, right? So they, they use a deep learning network, okay. Um, uh, sixty percent, okay, of the work, uh, you know, uses a feature, use it, yeah, use, they use feature extractions, okay. Yeah, sometimes you know, the two methods may be combined, okay. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, no matter you know we use features or we use the raw data. Okay, so we we build the model, and then the model can do the classification. So this class, class classification will be able to detect 
the person's uh, you know uh, state uh, based on the incoming EEG data. Okay, and then okay based on the uh, the model, uh, I mean the brain state detection. Okay, uh, we can uh, you know uh, give the person the feedback. All right, so the the, the person okay, can uh can can adjust like uh, uh his activities like based on the feedback okay so this is a typical you know uh in the, like the data flow cycle okay uh in in a brain computer interface system okay yeah and uh, now so the first thing we need to do is the data collection right so yeah we have to collect the data first okay all right so uh there are different kinds of data collection uh, devices Right, just like uh, uh, what we we see on this picture, yeah, okay, yeah, and uh, some of them are like research grade uh, 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 devices, okay, yeah, okay, like uh, uh, maybe uh, two of them are shown here, okay, uh, are the research grade one, okay, uh, the one on the on the upper left, okay, upper right, sorry, okay, is uh, is called emotive, because that one uh, has a uh, you know fewer. Uh, number number full number of channels okay but uh, it it is still a collect very good you know good very good quality data, but it's more uh, portable all right more um, lightweight and portable okay and also there are some uh, even more simpler uh easy data sets okay i could show uh, yeah show some of them and just in a minute okay yeah okay so um yeah so um so depending on the on the uh, you know the EEG equipment, okay, yeah, the the, the collected the data could be a uh, uh, very different, all right? Okay. So um, now in order to like uh, uh, regulate like in the uh, the EEG data recording, okay, um, so they are some kind of standards, right? Okay, develop developed to uh, position, okay, to enable the positions for the electrodes. All right. Okay. So um, yeah, the well, well long, uh, well, well long standard is like a you know, international ten twenty uh, standard, right? Okay. So with this standard, okay, the each position, okay, on the scar is enabled. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, some of them, okay, you know, that we can see you know, on this uh, on this uh, like uh, this map. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, now. Um, to uh, like uh, develop the models like right, to detect the the sleep disorder or uh, uh, detect the sleep stage okay and uh, we um, use some uh, public uh, database okay yeah, and then the cap sleep database which is uh, uh, in the uh, physiolet.org uh, website all right okay so now so basically now here this is in the kind of uh, uh, characteristics of the of the database right okay yeah so the like number of subjects okay, and uh, you know what kind of uh, uh, like uh, uh, you know what channels you know are used okay okay uh, you know to collect the data and so on okay yeah and uh, so um, and uh, you know data are collected from uh, like uh, you know patients like a di diagnosed with different uh, Kind of uh, uh, sleep problems like uh, like epilepsy, like a uh, yeah, this kind of thing. Okay, yeah, and uh, so um, so uh, yeah, so this this is a data set. Okay, and then okay, so then what we do is okay, uh, we want to see whether we can develop the model okay, to predict the participants' sleep state, right? Like uh, a wake sleep stage and and so on. Okay. Yeah, based on the data collected from the patients. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And also, we want to see whether we are able to detect the sleep disorder. Right? For example, if the person has insomnia, so whether we can detect the insomnia based on the, the EEG data. Okay. Yeah. So, that, so these are the two types of uh, modeling work okay, that we can do right, with, the, with the EEG data. Okay. So this is uh, just a one uh, uh, one uh, uh, test, right? One test, okay? Yeah. So uh, yeah. So this is the data set, okay? Uh, we use right to uh, build the model, okay? Yeah. The the data include the uh, you know the uh, how say include the, the easy data, okay? 
collected from uh, different states like normal like insomnia or sleep disordered breathing okay yeah so um yeah so data are collected from different uh, channels as we can see right on the heading of the data set okay all right so now we use the feature extraction approach right in this study all right okay so basically uh, we collect uh, we, we extract the uh, the, uh, the entropy uh, uh, approximate entropy okay from the eg data okay and then we uh, split the data into the training training data set and the testing data set and then uh, uh, then we we run a uh, you know naive base algorithm okay on the on the feature data okay and then we get the result right so this is the cost table right cost table okay which shows the result so the so so the the accuracy okay uh, in this test right okay, basically is uh, is uh, is pretty good actually all right okay um, so this basically uh, this test basically give us a kind of a, uh, information about the uh how to say uh the p p potential okay uh, uh uh modeling uh okay that we can do right using the eeg data okay yeah so this is the another study right with a with a different data set right so in this data set okay uh, we participant participant with uh, insomnia and sleep disorder breathing okay and uh, and the uh, basically, we use the same uh, technology, the same feature extraction, right? Yeah, same same methods, okay. And uh, but we add some discretization as well, right? We discretize the data into like uh, using the ten bins, okay? Yeah, because we are using naive base algorithm, okay? The naive base algorithm, okay, uh, it works on the discrete data, right? Yeah, okay. So so we have to do the discretization, okay? And uh, the result is pretty good, right? So you can you can see the accuracy is like one hundred percent, right? For this uh, for this particular case, okay, all right, okay, okay. So so this is kind of a preliminary study, okay, using the public data set to to test, uh, you know, uh, you know the uh, the kind of uh, the power of feature extraction, right, in the easy data modeling, okay, okay. So now uh, we develop a you know a system, right, okay, with the uh, uh, with the different components, right? Right. We try to integrate, okay, the you know the the modeling, okay, uh, and uh, the application, right, together, okay. Yeah. So in this uh, uh, integrated system, we have, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, architecture, right, shown here, okay. So we have a data set and then connect the EG data, right, okay, and uh, and the data, okay, are you know relayed, okay, by the uh, smartphone right uh, to the web server okay and then the web server has has uh, like a back backbone a uh, data, database right that is that saves the collected data all right okay and then based on uh on this architecture okay, we can uh, uh like uh uh uh, uh launch like in the modeling the program right, on the web server okay and uh, that uh, build the model like uh, based uh, on the on the data that 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 are extracted from the database okay and then okay uh, the the model i right, can test the incoming data and then give the 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 user the, the feedback right okay uh, you know uh, uh, now this feedback should be related related, uh, related by the smartphone as well all right okay and then from there we can uh, uh, like uh, incorporate you know the, the uh, uh technologies right to 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 try to help the the person right, with with the uh you know uh, sleep disorder problem okay yeah okay so um because we want we want to develop a, a kind of a lightweight uh, and uh, easy to use uh device okay so we use the micro bit right to uh, uh kind of a, a design a single channel uh, EEG device, all right? Okay. Uh, so uh, this picture basically, uh, you know, shows an idea. Okay, yeah, you get a general idea about how we uh, uh, build uh, this single channel uh, EEG device. Okay, yeah. And uh, okay, then okay. Uh, uh, so this device can uh, uh, collect the EEG data, right? Okay. Okay. So we can collect the EEG data from different state. Okay, and uh, then we we are going to you know 
process the data, like uh, for example, do the filtering, right? Okay, so for example, we can use the ensemble empirical model decomposition, okay, uh, to decompose the, 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 you know, the brainwave data. And uh, then we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, filter the data. We, we can, for example, we, we can drop, okay, uh, low, low frequency data such that we can, uh, we can uh, uh, and remove the, uh, the low frequency drift, right, from the, uh, from collected EEG data, right? Okay. Um, and after that, okay, we can, uh, we have, basically, we have two choices, right? Okay. With the, uh, you know, the uh, IMFs, right? Okay. Uh, intrinsic model uh, functions, okay, which are the basically they are the components, okay, uh, uh, how to say decompose, okay, uh, by the EMD process, okay. Um, we can either combine, okay, the IMFs back, right, to the to the to the how to say to the combined EG data, okay, or we can use IMFs individually as the the raw data, right, to do the and the, the following process, okay? So after the uh, decomposition, we can uh, do the uh, feature extraction, right? So we, we can extract uh, like uh, features, okay? Now in our study, we extract 20 features, okay? Yeah, okay. And then uh, of course, then we do the normaliz normalization like before we uh, split the data and do the, to do the training and the testing, all right? Okay, so this, is, this uh, shows the uh, yeah, what is the EMD, right? Ensemble Empirical Model Decomposition, all right? So, um, yeah, we, we use a very simple uh, uh, wave, right? Which is artificial, uh, the cosine wave, right? Okay, um, so um, then, uh, you know, using the e EMD, we can decompose the wave, right? Into, a, uh, you know, components with different frequencies, right? Okay, then the, the one with the, the the lowest frequency, the one on the bottom, right? It basically represents the like uh, uh, the uh, the uh, low frequency drift, which is the kind of artifact, right? Okay, you know during the uh, data collection. So we can just drop right this uh, uh, low frequency uh, INF, right? And then we can use the remaining right to do the uh, you know flowing the process. Okay, all right. I think we use half of the time, right? Okay. I guess I guess probably I need to go a little bit faster. Okay. All right. So then um, then we compute the features. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, uh, we can use we can compute the, the PSI, like okay? uh, uh, power uh, power spectrum uh, in, uh, uh, in, in, in intensity, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we can uh, uh, you know compute the uh spectrum powers like, like delta wave like delta theta alpha and beta gamma waves okay yeah and uh, and uh, uh also we can compute some other features for example different kind of entropies right yeah like sdv entropy spectral entropy and uh, uh is, you know approximate entropy and uh, and some other features like uh, uh just parameters right just complexity just uh uh uh, info, um, um, uh, what's the other one? Just, just complexity and just information, I guess. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we can use these um, features, right, to do the further, uh, you know, uh, uh, processing and the modeling. Okay, all right. So this is in the uh, uh, the framework, the right, flowchart, right, of the the data processing, uh, feature extraction, and the modeling. So basically, we try three different three different models, right. We use the DN model and the TensorFlow Keras model and the XGB model. Okay, yeah, um, and then uh, we do the kind of model voting, right, to try to uh, uh, maximize uh, the the performance of the models. Okay, yeah, and then do the validation and testing. Okay, all right. So and uh, so we try to um, uh, test right, the effect of different uh, data processing uh, procedures, right. Like, uh, for example, we can just, we do the filtering, uh, feature extraction, uh, normalization all together, or we can just uh, do the feature extraction from raw data, or we can do a, uh, uh, you know, EMD uh, decomposition, and then we use the decomposed, uh, like, uh, data, right, different, uh, we can use the components, right, okay, to do the uh, modeling directly, or we can, uh, uh, you know, filter the data, like, okay, filter the, 
low frequency drift and then uh, uh, combine the remaining IMFs back right to the to the to the uh, you know to the raw data right and, okay and then uh, do the uh, modeling after that okay so we want to compare the effect of different uh, uh, you know procedures right in the uh, yeah in this modeling uh, uh, you know process okay all right and uh, uh, okay so now this um, you basically uh, this yeah you know a chart but basically uh, shows in the comparison of different uh, models right and uh, also different uh, uh, processing procedures right okay yeah now we have um, uh, uh, yeah this one is basically it shows in the uh, you know four different methods right for for different combinations of methods and the and the comparison of their uh, performance okay the one that performs performs the best is the decomposed, right? Decom de decomposed, uh, like a, uh, decomposition, like a e e m de decomposition, okay. And the, and we use the decomposed in the data, right, to do the uh, to do the uh, uh, the uh, the the modeling, all right, okay. So so that one give us the, the best performance, okay, yeah, okay. So um. So with this, right, we are able right, to build a model, right? Okay. So this shows the structure of the DN model and the Keros model. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and uh, and the, the 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 performance is not bad, right? So uh, based on uh, you know the the you know the the, the the data shown here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So basically, we can readily get uh, you know over eighty five percent accuracy, right? No matter what kind of a uh, uh, technology we use okay yeah all right yeah so this is in the uh and then the tree right uh, uh xg xg boost uh tree uh model okay all right okay so now um so so far i have been talking about the uh, eg uh data uh, mo uh brain state modeling by using eg data okay all right so then okay uh next i'm going to talk about the sleep inducing all right okay and then in the end, we talk, I, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, integrating the, the brain state modeling with the sleep inducing technologies. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, this slide, you know, uses the Chinese, right? Yeah. So you may not be able to read them. Okay. Yeah. So, but, um, uh, I think, I think you can you can get some hints about from the title, right? Like, like electromagnetic stimuli. Okay, so basically the idea is is um, using some kind of uh, yeah electromagnetic uh, pass, right? Okay, so you can see the headset you know worn by this lady, right? So 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 this uh, device can uh, like uh, you know can emit right the electromagnetic uh, pass, right? Okay, then this path can, uh, uh, how to say, can stu stu uh, stupid, uh, how to say, uh, stupid okay, the emission of the uh, a kind of a peptide, right, okay, uh, called uh, ENK, right, ENK, okay, then such ENK can, um, how to say, uh, um, uh, promote the happiness of the person. So, so this, this will make the person uh, relax, right, and uh, and overcome any uh, stress, right, and and also get into sleep, right, uh, e more easily. All right, okay, yeah. So so this technology is not uh, uh, specifically designed for sleep problem, but it uh, it can uh, help, right, the person uh, you know sleep, right, sleep better. Okay, yeah. Now another technology is using the uh, a special kind of uh, white noise. Okay. So this white noise is like a, is a kind of a sine sine wave, a right? sine wave, right? artificial sine wave. Okay, and this artificial sine wave can how to say can kind of a, uh, block okay the ICU uh, noise. Okay, and so 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 this uh, so this sine wave right can help people right to uh, to get in get into sleep. Okay, yeah, and uh, of course you know this particular uh, you know, technology uses in the uh, uh, music, the light music as well. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, now this um, uh, technology is basically uh, is based on like uh, uh, music, right? So it's you know you know you see uh, the the headset you know uh, actually these are uh, should be called a headband, right? The headbands are designed to 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 be uh, worn like a very uh, how to say uh, comfortably, right? Okay, and then uh, it give you a uh, uh, like a very uh, soothing music, right? And uh, and help you get into sleep, right? Okay, yeah. And uh, okay, now this one, okay, it is uh, it it is another technology that uses the music, okay, but uh, it is more artificial, right? Uh, how to it it it's more intelligent, okay? Which means, okay, it can adjust the music such that, okay, it will help you to get into the sleep, okay? It is found that the people uh you know get into sleep okay when uh, you know you know his brain waves has more uh, del delta wave delta yeah delta power right yeah okay okay people don't don't get into sleep okay because they they have difficulty you know, to get into the the delta wave right the delta 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 in a uh, delta wave uh, phase okay yeah so from gamma wave right, from gamma alpha okay and uh, all the way to the delta wave, okay? You need to go through the theta wave uh, phase, all right? So the sleep, uh, this technology will adjust the music to help you to, to go through this theta, theta uh, like repair phase, so that you can get into the delta wave uh, phase, okay? Yeah, all right? So this is another technology uh, which is um, uh, invented by a company uh, in the US, right? Okay, it, it's called Sleep Shepherd Blue. Okay, yeah. So um, this technology uses like uh, you know uh, different uh, um, waves. Okay, different sounds. Okay, you know uh, that is uh, how to say uh, uh, inputted. Okay, inputted from from two years, right? And so, but then the two sounds. Okay, the sound on two years. Okay, have some kind of uh, you know a different dif a different a difference right in the in the in the waves right in the wave frequency okay so this will uh, generate some kind of rhythmic pass right so this rhythmic pass will help people right to slow down their brain wave and then get into sleep okay yeah so that's uh, uh, yeah another technology okay uh, this one uh, okay um, basically is a uh, is a uh, it is a kind of uh, it it creates the kind of a, a, a vibration. Okay, so the device is uh, is attached to the to the bed or to the chair, and uh, it causes it, it creates some kind of vibration, and this vibration will work with the brain wave, right? Okay, to uh, help you to relax, right? And uh, and uh, and get into sleep. All right. Okay. Well, it is uh, like a, how to say it has a kind of a automatic adjust ad, 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 adjustment uh, function as well so it is uh, uh, a little bit uh, like uh, uh, it has a little bit of ai right artificial intelligence as well okay all right and, and uh, the other technology may use like lights right yeah like this one like uh, it, it uses uh, it to try to emit the uh, light right that can help people to uh, uh, to to uh, like uh, it is stupid, stupid, uh, stupid in the uh, the pineal body, okay, to in, emit the the uh, melatonin, right? melatonin, okay, and the melatonin is is, uh, is a material that can help that, that will help people that get into sleep, all right, okay, so so this is a uh, uh, one yeah another uh, method, okay, and uh, this method. Is, it basically using a similar idea, but it is more like a, how to say it has a more direct in, in, in interact with the with the person, right? So it is using a, like a glass, right? A pair of glasses. Okay, so this pair, these glasses can can emit the lights, right? Uh, on the on the daytime, okay, it emit the, the the green light, right? The green light will prevent uh, the uh, melatonin from 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 uh, being emitted. All right, so so this will uh, uh, how to say preserve right the melatonin to, to be emitted uh, during the night, so the people can get into sleep during the night more easily. And uh, during the night, okay, 
uh, you know, the glasses emit the, the red light, and the red light will help okay, uh, stimuli okay, in the uh, uh, emission of the uh, melatonin, so people will get, get into sleep more easily. Okay, yeah, and uh, and actually, there are also also some other technology that uh, try to uh, uh, how to say try to uh, uh, um, stimuli the, the brain cells okay, using the lights okay, through the ear. Yeah, so I saw this, uh, uh, you know, product sometime, okay, but it's, uh, it's not shown right, on the slides, okay. And this is, you know, uh, another method, okay, it's like a brain training, so it tries to, uh, like, detect the person's uh, brain state, right, use uh, by an analyze the EEG data, and then, okay, it tries to uh, train the people, right, the train the subject, okay, uh, to adjust, okay, uh, adjust uh, his uh, uh, sensory mode, uh, sen uh, sensory motor uh, uh, reason, yeah, sensory motor reason. Okay, and uh, so by adjusting the sensory motor mo uh, motor uh, motor reason, okay, the person will be able like to relax and in, in the sleep. Okay, so this is like a how's in the day, the training process. Okay, and uh, it uh, uh, requires the user like to to do a three uh, three, uh, three, uh, three, tra three trainings, okay, three sessions of training so per week, and each session has twenty uh, minutes, and uh, and they claim that okay, this technology will um, have effect right after one month training. All right, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. This is uh, another method okay, that uh, we um, uh, you know uh, implement, right? We implemented, okay, yeah. So. Uh, this uh, this um, technology okay, uh, uses uh, the uh, delta wave and uh, and convert the de delta wave delta wave into the into the sounds and then use these sounds right to ask the uh, biofeedback right to the to the user's brain okay and this will help people to get into sleep all right okay and at the same time we also use night music and uh, and the help and uh, and try to um, um, uh, you know. Uh, introduce people right to go to, to do the meditation all right okay yeah uh, so um, so with this method okay the people will get into sleep okay more easily so this is like a, a med sleep by meditation okay you know this you know meditation is also a good good method to overcome uh, stress and uh, sleep disorder as well because in the uh, in the first fa phase of meditation right, is is very similar to to uh, to the procedure Okay, for the person to get into sleep, all right. Okay, and after that, okay, meditation will, uh, how to say, will and 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 the, and the sleep will be different. Okay, yeah. Okay, but uh, the first phase, okay, will be, you know, of sleep and the meditation is the same. And they, yeah, they are the same. So we can uh, use the meditation right to, uh, to help people get into sleep as well. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um. Yeah, so this kind of integrated system right, with all the components, right? Okay, yeah. So I think, uh, uh, okay, yeah. So basically that's everything. Okay, yeah, I have like a 10 minutes left, right? okay? Yeah, so conclusion is like, a, yeah, insomnia and sleep disorders are very important issue, the like healthcare issue, okay? And uh, and, uh, and we try to use some, some technology by combining, uh, you know, the easy data analysis and the sleep inducing, okay? To uh, to ask uh, to 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 develop some kind of uh, alternative, uh, you know, uh, you know, means for the uh, for solving the, the 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 sleep disorder problem. All right, okay. Um, so basically, these methods will be like a non-invasive, right? Non -in non-invasive, non-medication, right? Uh, non -med yeah, okay. Uh, non-medication uh, uh, methods, okay. Yeah. So you should have the least uh, side effects. All right, okay. And uh, for the uh, brain state modeling, we found that the uh, EM EMD right, in, in, in pinnacle model decomposition and the feature extractions are very useful right, in the brain state modeling. Okay, especially for the uh, brain st brain waves data collected using uh, our uh, like a, uh, you know handmade uh, EEG device. Okay, all right. So well, yeah. So that's uh, uh, all I want to talk. Okay. So if I have any questions, okay. Uh, we can discuss okay yeah if you have okay all right okay yeah, yeah.
Well, thank you, sir. That was a very great session and very informative. From the participants' end, we have a few questions, sir. So the okay. first question is, is there a standard database for a brain connectivity? Oh, yes, yes. They are such standard the, uh, database, yes. Okay. So for example, uh, our uh, preliminary uh, you know, modeling methods, okay, uh, so they are tested using the public the uh, standard uh, database, yeah. So uh, the database are uh, how say the database can can, can be uh, let me just uh, I guess I probably I didn't give you the the link right. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I didn't I didn't write on the link here. Okay, but uh, yeah, so the data can be downloaded from the uh, physio lab. Uh, dot org website. So if you are interested in, uh, you know, you using this uh, standard database, yeah, you can go there. Okay, yeah. Um, if you if you are interested in finding finding out more, we well, we can uh, talk. You know, after the conference, right? Okay, yeah, we can talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, there is another question. Uh, what is the minimum amount of hours required for sleep? Does yoga and meditation reduce stress level and improve quality of sleep? Well, yeah, okay. So this is uh, uh, how to say. I, I believe it's um, uh, yeah, in very interesting question. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, so if you say for now you do yoga, okay, and you do meditation, okay. Um, what I want, want wanted to uh, to to try to describe, okay, uh, was. Um, um, you know, if you do meditation or you you do me, um, yoga meditation, right? and not and not talking about the like uh, action yoga, right? Okay, action yoga is like okay, stretch, you know, this kind of thing. Of course, I mean, if you you if you exercise yoga and the, you you feel like happy, right? You you feel relaxed, okay, and you should be able to get into sleep very very quickly. So I, I, I that's totally true, okay. But uh, what I wanted to 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 talk to talk about was. Um, uh, meditation itself, okay. Your yoga has meditation as well, right? Okay. So now, if you um, you you do, you do you you practice meditation, okay, and uh, if you are able right to get into deep meditation state, okay, then okay, the first phase of deep meditation state is like uh, how to say that is uh, um, we call it. Uh, some people call it like uh, uh, how to say uh, kind of a sleepy state okay I, I i don't know how to say it in english very well okay um so it's like uh, the first phase of a uh, um, deep meditation state is like a kind of a sleepy state now right? you feel you are, you are kind of sleepy all right okay but but you don't fall into sleep okay so after that stage okay you know you know there are two branches or you either just fall into sleep all right or you 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 enter the deepest Deep uh, meditation state. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so uh, you know, um, in terms, of, you know, how much time, you know, uh, you need to practice the meditation in order to be able to get into deep sleep, a uh, deep state, a deep, a deep meditation state. Okay, um, I think it depends on, on on people, right? Yeah. So I believe a lot of people in in India, you know, practice yoga and, and also meditation. All right. Okay. So they train and they, they 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 train people right to 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 get into meditation state you know very quickly. All right. So there are different methods. Okay. So I believe you know it depends on uh, on the methods and also depends on the method you know on the, on the people right on the yeah different people you know have different problems to overcome right. Okay. To 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 do the meditation. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. And uh, is it true that specific type of vibratory and acoustic stimulation might help promote sleep? Okay. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Uh, 
uh, yeah, uh, sir, is it true that specific types of vibratory and acoustic stimulation might help promote the sleep? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this is the, uh, yeah, if, yeah, if we can do some kind of simulation, okay, and uh, then, okay, um, then we use the simulated, uh, how to say, say the biofeedback or neural feedback, okay, and uh, yeah, so this uh, this uh, uh, kind of simulated, uh, you know, neural feedback should be able right, to, to to be very helpful right, to to help people to adjust the, the state. Okay, so actually some of the technologies I just mentioned, okay, and they they are designed in in this way, right? So they, they do kind of kind of simulation, okay, and then they use the simulated uh, how to say uh, feedback, right? Okay, to help people. To, to to adjust the state, yeah. Okay. Uh, sir, what number of hours will complete one cycle of sleep? Uh, one cycle. Uh, how many hours? Okay. Um, well, I don't think we have the set number of hours right, to do the cell peak. Okay. Well, you know, one of the methods I just mentioned, like the brain train like technology. Yeah, they can that, and you know, uh, they uh okay, they, they, you you do a one month uh, training and you do three times per week and each each session has 20 minutes so that's what they claim right but uh, i i think it's i mean this claim is true only uh, in a statistical statistical uh how to say uh, um, mean, meaning right okay um i think people differ from each other Right, you, you can say okay, you know the same method is uh, you know you know is always uh, working right on on everybody. So I don't think that this is true, right? No matter what kind of method you use, all right. Okay. Now if you use the the method I uh uh you know we we, we implemented like we use the delta wave right the delta wave sound right as the uh, neural feedback right to help people get into sleep. Okay. And uh, now you know this uh, method you know. It takes effect also depends on people. Yeah. You know, you know, there are even people who, who say, okay, this won't help. All right. Yeah. Uh, some people say, oh, yeah, this, this is very helpful. Okay. Yeah. So it, 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 it really depends. It, it, it really depends. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, sir. And we have again a couple of questions from the participant side. Uh, what are your views about the devices using uh, electromagnetic waves to the head and brain? Wouldn't it cause harm or damage? Oh, okay. Um, harm or damage? Okay. Uh, good question. Um, you know, okay. This is this is my my view. Okay. Yeah. This is this message they claim. Okay, uh, what are your views about the device using the uh, electromagnetic waves to the head and the brain? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, um, you know, um, how to say, um, they can, okay, they, uh, they can, uh, like, uh, uh, help the device will help the brain to emit the, uh, uh, like, a, a certain type of a hormone, right? Okay. Uh, but uh, I would say, you know, the amount of uh, hormone, uh, how to say, uh, generated by this technology is very limited. All right. So I would, I wouldn't say, okay. So this, for example, the electromagnetic magnetic path, okay, will cause, you know, that much, you know, emission of a hormone uh, to cause the hormone damage. I don't think so because I think uh, people worry about whether they can actually. Uh, help emit the uh, the, the hormone the, the the particular hormone okay yeah so i don't think uh, there is much chance right to go to the other side you know what i'm saying yeah okay so, oh, yeah, so thank you thank you so much yeah. and okay. uh, there's yeah. another question is frequency generator help one to drift to gamma state oh. of mind if s uh, can you please elaborate on it, please? Is frequency generators help one to drift uh, to gamma state of mind? Oh yes. Okay. Uh, okay. If okay. Uh, uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, so 
so you want to uh, basically um, uh, keep on the brain's data, you know, or help the brain, brain to, to go to the other side, right? Yeah. So like a delta wave is like a deep sleep, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Like the most inert state. Okay. Uh, gamma wave is like a is more uh, how to say is like a very active, right? A very active state. Okay. Yeah. So um, you know, can you help people to get to to, to drift to the gamma state? Okay. Um, you know, uh, you can think um, you can think about that. Okay. Um, but uh, um, you know. I doubt the usefulness of such technology. Okay, you know, almost only speaking, I I don't, I, I don't have a, a like a sure answer right, to this question because uh, I don't think people have ever uh, uh, sort of developing such a kind of uh, technology because uh, people can get into a gamma state very very uh, easily. Am I right? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, you know, people. You know, so for example, in the insomnia, my problem is like okay, people they keep in the gamma state, right? They, they can they cannot go 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 get into the, uh, the the delta state, right? Okay, and uh, now if 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 a person is in the delta state and uh, and he 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 doesn't he he has a problem to to go to 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 come back to the gamma state, so this you know this is a kind of a rare problem to to solve, right? Yeah, okay, so. I, um, like for example, meditation, right? It is try to help people to get to get into delta state, right? From gamma state, right? It won't. Uh, I mean, don't no 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 people, you know, try to walk the other way. Am I right? Okay. Yeah, but it's it's a good question to think about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, is there any specific frequency to get good sleep? Is there any specific frequency to get into good sleep? Yeah, uh, the, the delta wave. Right? So many. Delta, delta wave. Oh, delta oh. wave is the yeah. Delta wave is the feature feature uh, feature wave feature the wave okay in the deep sleep. Uh, okay, yeah. sir. You yeah. and uh, is it good or bad habit to listen music while sleeping? Uh, habit to listen music while sleeping. Um. You know, uh, uh, the answer is no. The answer is bad. Is bad, right? Okay. You know, um, if the 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 people is if the person is 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 not getting get to sleep, right? The music should help. The music the music can help. All right. Okay. But uh, if the if the person is in the uh, sleep state, especially the deep sleep state, okay. The music will will do the other work. Oh yeah, so music will help you to get into gamma state. Okay, in that case, okay, because um, um music, you know, um, um, it, it if your your wave is very you're very very how say very uh tur tur uh, tur turmoil right like a, a tur turbulence okay um like you are in the gamma state okay and then the music can help you to slow down your gamma wave like uh, yeah slow down your brain wave right? and so you can. You, you can uh, cool down and then you get into sleep, right? Okay. But uh, once you get into sleep, you are in a delta wave st uh, state. Okay. Um, then the music will will work the other way. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. The, the music will will try to agitate you, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so if so, so that's the reason why most of the uh, uh, the technologies that try to do the sleep inducing, they will turn off. And the, a stubbornness uh, uh, mechanism, right? No matter the stubbornness mechanism is like a using lights or using the waves or using the paths, okay, whatever, okay, they will they, they should stop the stubbornness, right? Once the person get into sleep, right? So that's the reason why a sleep uh, state detection is very important in the process, right? You 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 should stop the st stimulus, right? Once the person is in a sleep state, yeah. Okay. Oh well, thank you, thank you so much, sir. And uh, does excessive usage of cell phone leads to sleeplessness? Does excessive usage of a cell phone leads to a sleep uh, sleeplessness? Okay, yeah. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Let's let's let's. Uh, um, you know, um, okay. 
Uh, personally, uh, you know, I, they, there was a time period in which I, uh, you know, I just uh, read, uh, you know, read the uh, articles like uh, read the uh, whatever, uh, you know, uh, posts uh, using the cell phone while I, I was uh, uh, trying to sleep, right? I, I can read, you know, a half hour, you know, sometimes I even read, you know, more than one hour, okay? And after that, and I, I say, okay, now I want to sleep, okay? And then I found it, it, it took longer for me to get into sleep after I read uh, the cell phone be, uh, you know, at the beginning of the sleep, okay? Yeah. And also I, I heard uh, a lot of stories about, you know, um, you know people reading a cell phone, uh, you know, while sleep and then they, they, got, they got into problem, yeah. The most severe problem is like, uh, you know, uh, say, okay, in the person, uh, you know, read the cell phone, uh, you know, the whole night, right? And uh, for a long time, uh, eventually, uh, the person die, okay? Yeah, because of that. Um, yeah, so, 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 so my answer is yes. Yeah, so the cell phone, we are, yeah, we are, it, 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 it can cause a sleep problem, okay? Well, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, is there any suggestions or techniques uh, to dream lucid? To uh, attend to dream lucid? Uh, okay. Um, well, okay. Um, okay. Um, you know, meditation. Okay. <laughs> That's a short, a simply put. Okay. Yeah. Um, in, in, you know, um, there's a saying, okay. Um, I don't know whether uh, you know uh, Indian, um, you know, people have the same saying or similar saying, but the Chinese uh, people have uh, the saying, um, like uh, you know, good. Uh, how to say? If you you are if you are good meditator, right? Uh, you don't you don't dream, right? And the the very the very perfect meditator don't dream, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, because um, dream is a kind of a uh, some people have done scientific research on the on the dream, on the effect of a dream, right? Okay, the effect, you know, the dream, you know, has a good effect, okay? Because um, the dream, uh, during the dream, the the, the the you know the the person will adjust uh, their memory, and then they can how to say, uh, re revitalize their memory and. Uh, sort out whatever uh, you know they have uh, in their, their their brain have uh, like uh, hoarded right, during the uh, the data activities right so 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 the during the dream the person will sort out yeah whatever material okay uh, absorbed uh, during the daytime okay and then um, so the, the, so dream will help people to 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 uh, to get to, to make the, the brain right to uh, get into the good state right so 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 after the uh, the sleep you know, the person will feel more uh, uh, how to clear clear mind and uh, more uh, energized right yeah so the dream has a good effect all right okay well okay um you know um but uh, based on this uh, this research okay uh, in the dream is used to solve problem, am I right? Because you have some problem, you have some some, some disordered, uh, you know, uh, pieces of a memory to sort out, so that you have to do, you have to dream, all right? Okay. Now, if you don't have such a problem, then you don't dream, right? <laughs> okay. This is this is the logic, okay? But yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So so yeah, so so yeah. So meditation, okay. A good meditator. Right, they don't have a problem. You know, they keep their brain state right in a kind of how to say a constant, right, constant and stable state. Okay, so they uh, their their brain, you know, do the filtering. Okay, very well, right during the daytime. So they don't have to dream because they don't have to adjust, right, their uh, brain state. Okay. Oh well, uh, thank you, sir, and. Uh... How far this electromagnetic wave are feasible with respect to kids? Do you have any particular frequency for kids to different age group? Uh, no, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, uh, 
for the kids, um, how to say, um, my opinion is, you know, kids don't have, they have less uh, mind problem uh, than the adults. Yeah, adults develop mind problems uh, in their experience, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, for example, you never need to, you never uh, teach kids to do meditation, right? Because they, they don't need the medication. Yeah, they don't need the meditation. They don't need to adjust their brain state, okay? Yeah. The, I'm talking about very young kids, all right? When the when the kids begin to grow uh, grow bigger, be, be go, be, uh, grow older, and they they try they learn the how to do the logic thinking, right? And they learn the how to distinguish different things. They they know how how to uh, uh, what is good, what is bad, like right? how to distinguish the things, and then they they learn how to frighten themselves, themselves right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, and then they, 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 they run into the, the mental problems. That, that's my opinion, okay? But uh, I, I'm pretty sure, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it is it is, uh, it is is true, okay? Yeah, so um, so regarding the kids, yeah, so yeah, um, they might be some kind of a particular frequency for kids, okay? But uh, I personally, I don't know. I, I haven't read the literature about this kind of study. Well, well, thank you, sir. And uh, we have another question. Does co coffee have impact on sleep? Does the coffee have an impact on sleep? OK. Um, uh, yes. OK. Um, well, OK. I would say it, depend it also depends on people. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think uh, most of the people, uh, they, they, if they drink a coffee, uh, they can uh, keep uh, how to say keep alert, right? So if say okay, they uh, they want to walk overnight, so they drink a coffee, right? So this will keep uh, help them keep uh, keep alert, so they they can continue walking, all right? Um, I believe tea, you know tea, right? I, I, yeah, Indian Indian have tea, right? Okay, yeah, uh, tea should have the same effect or similar effect, okay? But uh, this is not true for everybody. Um, you know, I know some people, uh, they don't have, uh, they, they are, how to say, they, 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 they are exempt from, from the coffee, which means, you know, even they, they drink coffee, they, they, still, they still sleep well. They, yeah, they are not affected by coffee. You know, it depends on people. Yeah, but uh, I think most of the people, they are, they are affected by, co by coffee. Yeah, coffee will help them uh, uh, keep alert. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And we have a question from a participant again. Uh, he is asking that I have heard that child in uh, I have heard child in womb dreams as well. Considering that the dream is just a uh, permutations and combinations of accumulated memory, what justifies it? Or okay. does memory come okay. from life memory? Yeah, good question. Okay. Um, I think uh, this uh, we are, uh, if we discuss uh, on this track, uh, we are going to run deep into a philosophic, philosophical or even spiritual part uh, of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the brain uh, or thinking or whatever. Okay, um, the uh, you know my answer. If my answer to this question is yeah, okay, uh, uh, babies in the womb still dream. Okay. Because you know, um, in the in the in the uh, in the Indian um, how to say uh, religions, right? Uh, they are there is a word called karma. Should, should I stop? Okay. There is a there is a word called karma, right? I think you know this, right? Okay. Uh, karma karma means uh, okay. Um, you know, they are some accumulated uh, accumulated uh, uh, momentum, right, from your past life. Okay, and then uh, so this momentum, you know, is carried over. Okay, to the to the new life, not to the current 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 life, right? Okay, so so you know, different people, even though they are in one, okay, they are different, right? because they have different different karma, right? Okay, so some people, why people, you know, some people they they, they suffer the whole life, and then the the other ones they are very happy, right? Because they 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 are, they they come. Oh, with different state, right? 
we shouldn't say, okay, all the babies are the same, right? None of the babies, none two babies are the same, right? Because they, yeah, they are different, okay? They are different, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, you know, yeah, babies, you know, in one uh, still dream, yeah, because they, they have some accumulated momentum, okay? For some reason, right? I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, this may not satisfy your 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 question because you don't believe what I be. Uh, you, you don't believe the assumption that I made right at the very beginning. Okay, yeah. But this is the best I can answer. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh well, thank you, thank you so much, sir. That was a very informative session, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So thank you so much for accepting our invitation, and okay. it was a wonderful session. And uh, we're expecting uh, the future collaboration with you also with our institution. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.